Hello and welcome here to Talking HCB and welcome to the reaction video of our first win of the season. It's incredible. We have done it. We have beaten Athletic at the San Mames. Incredible. It is simply incredible. And you may think, you know, this is just one win. This is, you know, it's only, it's only, it's only three points. That's all it is. But that's not the point. That is simply not the point of this. In the circumstances of the game, the way the last few weeks have panned out, the way we responded in in the way that we did, the players that played, the the, the uh, desire that was put into the performance, all of that coupled with the fact that in the last week or so, we have struggled against Athletic in real, real problems in that first leg and in that second leg as well. Yet we have gone to San Mames and we have escaped there without any points draw. We have three points on the board. And basically, guys, what we're trying to do is survive until January, because as you can see from our squad today and our bench in particular, we are seriously, seriously hampered. I mean, it's it's a case of, uh, you know, we know the squad is small. We know that we had the transfer ban and it's a case of just avoiding the injuries, avoiding the suspensions and trying to keep everyone fit. Today really didn't go to plan. It really, really didn't. So all we've got to try and do is make sure that we keep ourselves on the right path until January. In January, Alex Fidal can come back. Arda Turan, we may go back into the market and try and sign some players, who knows what could happen, but we've got to make sure that we're in a position to still be challenging for those trophies in January, so certainly today was a great way to start that, because I tell you now, a lot of teams will go to San Mamez against Athletic, and they will struggle, they will absolutely struggle to um, to go there, to get the three points, and to come away with a win is a massive, massive thing, and the way we played wasn't good, it wasn't pretty, it wasn't attractive football, and there's not many times as a Barca fan where you sit down and you say, well, it doesn't matter about the performance, it's all about the result. Today was all about the result. There is no doubt in my mind about that. That's simply because going into the game, like I say, our squad was not in the good strength, the confidence wasn't really great going into this game, and the most important thing from, from our point of view is, we go into that game, and within a few minutes or so, about 15, 20 minutes, straight away our game plan is altered. Danny Alves has got to come off injured. We haven't got a right back on the bench. You bring Sergio Roberto on and there's uncertainty. We don't know how it's going to work out. We don't know how that's going to play out. And then you have the PK suspension going into this game. You've got the Neymar injury. Jordi Alves making his first appearance coming back. And I tell you what, what an absolutely incredible display from every single player. And that's what it was today. It was a collective effort, a team performance. And, and it's not very often you sit here as a Barca fan again and you say, we want to be good physically, we want to be winning those headers, we want to be winning the first ball, winning the second ball, going in very strong, wasting a bit of time. That's what it came down to today and that's what we showed a bit of versatility. We were able to do things today which I haven't seen in a while. We showed fighting character just like we did last season in the way that we played. And the most important thing is going into the next week, going into the next week of games, we've got a few players there now who have a bit more confidence. Sergio Roberto was absolutely absolutely magnificent. Now, I will repeat that. Sergio Roberto is absolutely magnificent at right back, and I cannot believe what has happened with him, because simply because in the last few games he's been playing in midfield, over pre-season we saw him shifted around the team, and he's always, you know, he does a job, doesn't he? He's never really been spectacular. But today he didn't just do a job. He didn't just come in at right back and play everything safe. He made incredible runs. He was attack minded. He was also very switched on at the back. He went up for headers. He was good, very, very good physically. There's a few times where he was shoulder to shoulder with the athletic defenders and attackers, and he won that battle. And that's what it's all about is being that combust, you know, being compact as a player and a defender. And certainly today, Sergio Roberto was absolutely magnificent. There was a moment where he made some, some terrific runs. He got into the area and unleashed an absolute venomous drive and it came off the crossbar. It really was a complete performance from Sergio Roberto today and there's been a lot of criticism of him and for Luis Enrique for even playing him and not selling him in this window and it has to be said you know, I'm not, I'm not going to come out and say, no, he's proved us all wrong, because this is only one game, he's got to continue to do this, he's got to continue to show what he's doing, but today was certainly an impressive performance, and he deserves credit for that, and so does Luis Enrique for having the trust in him to play him at right back, which I have to say, not many of us would have. And certainly the second uh, recommendation, the certain commendation, goes to Thomas Van Marlen. What a performance from Thomas Van Marlen, a man who endured a, a troublesome season last season, you know, he was the talk of uh, social media, wasn't he? The fact that he'd hardly played, we'd signed him for 10, 15 million euros, and uh, already, you know, he'd won these trophies without playing any minutes. He comes in against Athletic, again, alongside Barter in the first leg, and they get absolutely annihilated. And certainly since then, everybody's very critical of him, including myself. 
What he did today was magnificent. The same goes for him as it was for Sergio Roberto. He's not completely convinced everyone that yeah, you know, that won't happen until he's consistent. But again, you cannot say anything about him today. He was magnificent and he deserves credit for that. And again, Luis Enrique deserves credit for putting him in ahead of Bartra. Bartra came on. The first thing he did was lunge into a silly challenge and straight away they were on to us athletic. I'm still not totally convinced by the way Mark Bartra has gone about his start of the season. But certainly today in terms of the performances from Jordi Alba, considering it was his first game back. What a performance from him. Fantastic cross for the goal for Luis Suarez. In midfield, Sergio Busquets was magnificent. He ran the show in there today and it was such a shame to see him stretchered off, injured. That was a really worrying sign. What I would say on that front, I've not really heard anything about the extent that it's going to be the injury. What I would say though is at the end of the game, he was still on the bench. Now, if it was a serious injury, you don't often see the players stay out on the field. They're going to go back in. They're going to get some treatment behind closed doors and possibly go off to the hospital. Who knows? Some of Official news coming in here. I'm just seeing it now. Uh, Alves has a thigh muscle injury and Busquets has an ankle injury. Both players will be tested at Barcelona tomorrow and to see what the extent of both those injuries are. Iniesta, very good performance from him. I thought, again, him and Rakitic both working really hard in that midfield area. Rakitic didn't have the best of games today. I felt he'd give the ball away a few times, but again, you know, he's one of the players who's really proved themselves over the past few months, and he can get away with games like that once in a while. Lionel Messi, same goes for him. Wasn't his best today. Missed another penalty. That's become a few times now. He's missed a penalty in recent months. Not really sure what the situation is with that. Just didn't quite look confident. Didn't quite have the conviction behind the penalty. But certainly, you know, the, the performance, I want to make it a team thing today. Suarez and Rafinha were involved now and then. Good finish for Suarez as a goalkeeper had no chance. But it was all about the team today. It was all about the desire. And like I say, the main thing, the three points. It's not about the performance, not about the results. It's all about those three points. So effectively, it is about the result. But anyway, what a, what a display. Leave your thoughts down below on the, on, the, on the game, on the performance. It's Roberto Vermaelen. Who else stood out for you in this game? What are your thoughts going on in this season? We're going to have to really look at things now and see where we can improve the squad and, and who can get promoted, etc., etc. Because we're running really, really thin. And especially with these injuries now, we could be even thinner on the ground going into our next home game, which is Malaga. So leave your thoughts down below, guys. Interested to hear those. The most important thing, though, we have three points and we are off to a flyer in the new La Liga season. Vesca, El Barça.